All right, so today I'll be presenting on uh, my uh, paper, or my final project, uh, titles Defying Heresy, the Understanding of the Holy Trinity. Um, so far this year in our theology class, we've looked a lot about uh, at, from scripture and uh, looking at other uh, theologians' uh, examples of how, of how to properly understand the Trinity. And it was a hot button topic for uh, the period of late antiquity. Um, my thesis here is that uh, in this presentation, we'll be discussing at length the heresy of patripassionism. Um, we will look at scripture from the opinions of two theologians, mostly um, the works of Tertullian and the works of St. August, Augustine, and uh, both of their opinions on how we should properly understand the Trinity and, uh, and, and ignore some of the heresies that were surrounding it. Um, so some brief historical context, the time period we're looking at is the period of late antiquity. Um, it was a period that philosophers, priests, and theologians, as well as the clergy members of the church, um, were debating what was to go into the canon, what would to be a part of the Bible, uh, as well as what were some of the traditions of the church, and overall, some of the beliefs of the church. Um, at this time period, the church was very disorganized. Um, it lacked unification. Um, so that means that pe two people from, you know, may that maybe live 10 miles apart could say that they're Christian, um, but belong to different churches and have two completely different meanings of, of, what, of what it means to be a Christian. Um, and that caused a lot of problems. Um, it caused a lot of problems in necessarily like the beliefs that all Christians should have um, about salvation and uh, revelation through some of the prophets. So um, we're going to start with uh, defining what pa patripassionism is. So basically the belief is that... Um, Jesus Christ is both fully human and fully